When it comes to AA batteries, let me tell you this much, you're splitting hairs. It doesn't have to be too complicated. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a general interest vlog. This is about electronics. This is about AA batteries uh, today. And originally I was going to do a whole big test. Uh, I did time lapse of, of four different uh, brands of batteries. I did some, you know, middle of the road AA battery uh, alkalines. Um, I forget which brand, Everready, I don't know, Panasonic maybe. And then I did some low end uh, nickel metal hydride and some high end or advertised high end nickel metal hydride. And then I tried something new, which I was really excited about, which was rechargeable lithium ion AA batteries, which um, I did, I, I kind of went into it a little bit uh, blindly. I ended up getting, uh, I thought these batteries were going to be super long lasting, just as long lasting as my best uh, nickel metal hydride, as well as the good thing about a, a lithium ion battery is that it keeps the same voltage, 1.5 volts through the entire length of the charge and then it just cuts off. Whereas the, uh, alkalines and uh, NIMH batteries uh, tend to, the voltage goes down over time. But I bought these uh, lithium ion rechargeable batteries for pretty cheap on Amazon, but I realized that they were only 800 milliamps, which means they conked out sooner than any of the other batteries. They probably conked out sooner than um, like heavy duty batteries, like alkaline, whatever, whatever they are. But I wanted to break this down real quick here. You go on uh, Amazon, you look at reviews, there's a million reviews about batteries, brands, Sanyo, Eneloop, Fujitsu, uh, and then there's Tenergy, and there's Duracell, and Energizer, all these, and we're speaking specifically of um, nickel metal hydride batteries right now. And there's, you go on Amazon now, there's a hundred new Chinese brand, uh, brands that have these odd names. I can't, Dlyful and Bonai and the Soul. It seems like they have a monkey throw darts at an at a, at a alphabet and that's how they spell their names. It's retarded. Um, but you got to be aware of one thing. Don't believe the advertised um, current. On nickel metal hydride batteries, it's milliamp hours, MAH. The higher the number, supposedly the longer the battery will last at its, you know, optimal vo voltage. You know, you want to stay above 1.25 volts or so, um, 1.3 volts. They start out at about 1.45 volts and go down uh, from there, whereas alkalines uh, start out at like 1.6 volts and they, they go down. But they, they tend to progress or recharge decharge, discharge <laughs> faster uh, at a more s steeper slope, whereas nickel metal hydride tends to have a smoother discharge uh, rate, slower. But whatever you do, you can't get hung up on the numbers advertised because they never, ever, ever, they're usually 20 to 30 or 40 percent lower than advertised. Like a 28 milliamp uh, battery, which is considered high capacity, uh, often don't even go above 2,000. And for a long time, let me just say this, Sanyo uh, made a product called Eneloop, which was bought by Panasonic, and they were the king of the hill for a long time. They were close to their advertised capacity, and they they worked well and they didn't fail a lot, but, uh, and they were made in Japan. That was the key. Japan was the key for um, these rechargeable batteries. They were a much higher quality than the ones made in China. Uh, but since then, Panasonic, uh, they had some weird uh, arrangement where they sold the factory and they, whatever. They're made in China now and they're not good. Their Eneloop batteries now are considered um, not bad per se, but not like they used to be. There's two brands now that you can buy, which are Fujitsu at 1900 milliamps, which gets about that. It's uh, from what I've read, they're, they're rated at what they say. And there's another one called Power Max, I believe. 
And those are, those are two batteries made in the same, the old Eneloop factory in Japan. And they get mishmash ratings too. But here's another thing. You can't get hung up on the brand because you never know what batch of batteries or wh whether the material is no good. And whether you buy the brand in 2017, they may change by 2018. They're constantly changing their, their supply stream and manufacturing facilities. It's not like they're the same battery made from the same stuff every single time time. So if you liked Enel Loops in the past, that's a perfect example. They're not the same anymore. Same thing with any other brand. Sometimes you get good brands and like Duracell, they, they've changed their factory. Like it, it's constantly shifting. So you can't get hung up on the brands. Just assume that every brand is going to mix their, their supply up at some given point in time and you're going to get something bad. And here's another thing to worry about or concern yourself about when it comes to the batteries. You buy 20 batteries. You should always assume that one or two are probably going to be bad. Their quality control in general stinks um, or they're going to stop charging after 5 or 10 or 20 charges. So just build that in. Um, also, Stop worrying about how many charges they claim. Some say 300 charges, some say 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,500 charges. You're never, you can charge, the, use the battery every single day for like eight years before you get to 2,100 charges. Um, so I expect them to last maybe two, 300 charges max before they just don't either hold the amount or they just fail or hold the, the right amount of charge. So if you get two to 300 charges, any battery will, will end up averaging out costing less than one cent per use. That's a lot less than $2 when you buy a, a alkaline. So your cost savings at that point is profound. It's amazing. It's, anything after that is slicing like decimal points of pennies. So don't worry about it. Expect to get 200 charges max out of your batteries and, and stop worrying about the... Um, the, what they say on the on the battery itself. So that's basically it. And as far as these lithium ion batteries, I'm kind of excited about them because you know each battery has its applications. If you have some sort of, I mean, I don't really ever recommend buying alkaline unless you're using them for like some camera equipment. Um, and in that case, if you if longevity and reliability, you should buy the disposable lithium ion batteries. They're very expensive. You can actually get them pretty cheap when you buy them in bulk if you know you're going to use them regularly. I would just buy lithium ion uh, disposable batteries. And as far as the lithium ion rechargeables, that they're new to the market. So they're going to be expensive. They're going to be in, in the neighborhood of up to, I think I wrote it down here, six to ten dollars a battery. And um, if you can get the higher capacity ones. Um, and it would take you a lot longer to get your money back on those. But still, if you can get a thousand charges out of them and they last you and they fit your needs, they might, they might work. But you got to be careful. I mean, I, I'm not sure. You're never going to get the, the length of time that you can out of a really high-end uh, nickel metal hydride battery. But again, your camera or your high draw device might require them. So I wouldn't worry about the brand. Just pick pick a brand, buy, if you can get them on sale sometimes, I mean, I'll buy any brand. I'll buy Tenergy. I just bought some Bonai batteries. So I got them really cheap. I think I got 20, 2600 amp batteries for I think $23. So that's a little more than a dollar a battery and that's fine. Cause I, you know, I'm, the less out of pocket you spend, sometimes the better. It stings less, because especially if you spend, you know, 40 or $50 on a, uh, an Aloop Pro and one of them goes bad or it doesn't last as long as they say. I don't know. It's complicated. Don't split hairs. Just buy, if anything, just buy the brand name, Duracell or Energize. You, they'll work fine for a good enough time to be a good return on investment. So that's it. Hit the like and the subscribe, and I'll see you next video.